Hello, welcome to uh, another one of our videos and this is an interesting exercise and one that I never really thought much of when I first saw it a while ago but uh, like many things you, you can change your mind when you probably gain a better appreciation of, of um, what it, who it can be useful for and maybe understanding the exercise better. So uh, anyway, I, I can't take credit for this exercise, I saw this one first from Omni Fitness, I think they're called. Um, the, guy's name's Brad but he has a lot of really interesting exercises um, and different way of looking at things so you can always gain ideas from many other people who know more than you and then you apply it to your own training if it works use it if it doesn't don't use it so anyway let's have a look at this exercise and it's basically um, a leg extension so the old leg extension machine which is a terrible machine for anyone with knee pain but this the movement itself um, obviously it's an anatomical movement you can make so there's something about it you can make it useful but instead of making it about the quadriceps you can really turn it into partly actually more about the glutes and how they interact with aligning the, the knee joint during the extension as opposed to just trying to hammer the quads so you can see what I'm doing here and there's quite a few things going on so firstly there's a there's two bands that I'm using so the first one is around my my thighs there and it's just above the knee so when it's above the knee it's really trying to, to force the both glutes on both sides so even the leg that's not moving it's forcing them to work um, to activate in this external rotation to keep the band pulled apart otherwise I just go like knock need all right so that's that's an example of what you see with really tight hips and really weak weakened glutes now the second band is around under the knee and it's really trying to pull the tibia outwards so it's trying to pull my knee outwards which is also what you see when you get this valgus collapse all right so when the femur rolls inward the tibia goes outward all right so you've got like a double whammy of the femur being pulled inward and the tibia being pulled outward now to prevent both of those things happening really the glute the, this, uh, this exercise in particular eliminates the foot to some degree you do have to dorsiflex the foot so that it stays like really aligned here everything that I do with this leg has got to be perfectly aligned and there's just this huge torsion like as I've mentioned before already of one pulling this way and one pulling that way and if I maintain that alignment then in theory I should be able to create everything that I'm looking for to stabilize the knee all right, so you can see here I had to adjust my glutes with the band around my leg. So the VMO is going to really work on this knee extension now because the glutes are, are really working hard in driving this alignment. And you'll play, pay close attention to how my ankle is dorsiflexed when I kick it up. And I showed uh, right at the end there, you've got to see where, where the band, because I've relaxed on it a bit, if I just take it back, where the, where the band just pulled my leg outward, if you could see that right there. All right, see that? That's an example of when the glutes fail and you start to get this tibial external rotation and, and then the femur is going to drop in. So that's a horrible alignment for the knee to be put in. Now, if I find this a bit easier, and what I'm about to show you here is I just lower the band to a bit lower down my leg. So if I put it in the middle of my calf, it basically the laws of levers, it makes it a lot harder because it's it's pulling my it's got a greater mechanical advantage to pull my leg out to the side and that's a lot more force for me to pull and you see how my ankle has to stay quite dorsiflexed I can't let it deviate but that's where there's a little bit of foot um, stability involved not quite as much as when you're standing though now when I place the band right around the bottom of my ankle now it's really hard I swear there's a lot of forces going into the hip here and it's a real difficult, it's a real challenge to just maintain that uh, that optimal alignment that we've spoken about quite a, a lot already. So to just try and maintain this position is really difficult. Um, you can like one little trick I do use where I'm positioned on the floor here. There's like uh, where the mats meet. There's like a little line, and I've sort of found that for me the resistance on the band is just enough when I'm about that line, and I can use that line to make sure my foot travels along it if if my foot falls on the outside of this line I know it's really easy to spot it and we've lost control all right but this can be quite a useful exercise in the early stages of rehabilitation where 
And if, especially if someone's really struggling to stand up and do single leg things and, or even lunges and just too much compression in the joint, um, the exercise is very low intensity exercise, so it's not an, enough to change things by itself. You really, it's a stepping stone to the big ones, but it's a, it's a great regression that you can use. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly here what it looks like when you when you lose like your, your form in the single leg stance and how this exercise would relate to it. If I just speed it up for you. All right, so if I'm coming into a single leg movement and I, this is where I, I need everything that I've just done now to happen. If anything fails, I'm going to fall inward. So, so I'm just going in basically like a single leg deadlift type of movement and everything that I wanted before needs to happen now but now I've also got the foot involved so there's a little bit more things to contend with so there's more potential for failure. You can see how my knee floating around trying to, to maintain that optimal alignment so there's a constant battle between my foot and my hip to maintain it and then if I lost it that's what it would look like. All right, What we spoke about earlier that's what it looks like and that's the common area that you see huge problems with the knee. All right, so from patella tracking to ITB friction to obviously ACL tears, that's the real, that's the horrible malalignment that they call that miserable alignment of the knee. So, so this uh, regression of an exercise is a uh, a great way to sort of learn how to control these movements. And then obviously a progression again would be to bring the band back into it into the standing exercise. So, basically applying what we did before. Um, but now to the standing version where a, it's a lot harder to control balance. Like I said before, the foot is a big part of this now where on the sitting one it's it's more or less removed as a component. Um, yeah, and it's a, this is a great exercise that you can use to, uh, you know, if you're really struggling with getting the hip control with the knees and, and all the standing movements, which are the best ones, uh, too difficult, this is where you can you can regress back to so you can regain control. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video and it gives you some ideas on how you can incorporate um, some different training techniques into your, into your program so you can continue to move forward. All right, we'll see you on our next video.